Mastering the magic of English. Dive into the world of conditionals. Hello, language learners. Welcome to another exciting lesson. Today, we're going to unlock the power of conditionals in English. Conditionals play a vital role in English and they are everywhere in our day-to-day -day conversations. Mastering them will not only improve your grammar but also your ability to communicate complex ideas and hypothetical scenarios. So, let's get started. In English, a conditional sentence generally expresses a condition and its possible consequence. It often involves a if clause which sets the condition and a main clause which outlines the result or outcome. We use conditionals to talk about real or unreal situations, possibilities, and hypothetical scenarios. They add depth and flexibility to our language use. There are four main types of conditionals in English. Zero, first, second, and third conditionals. Each type is used to express different degrees of probability and time. Understanding the differences between these types will help you to use them correctly and effectively. Now, let's talk about the common uses of conditionals. 1. Real situations, zero and first conditionals. We use zero and first conditionals to talk about real, possible or likely situations. For example, if it rains, I'll stay at home. Two. Hypothetical situations, second and third conditionals. Second and third conditionals are used for situations that are hypothetical, unreal, or unlikely. For example, if I won the lottery, I would buy a house. 3. Giving advice, second conditional. The second conditional can also be used to give advice. For example, if I were you, I would study more. 4. Talking about past regrets, third conditional. The third conditional is often used to express regret about past events. For example, if I had studied harder, I would have passed the exam. Finally, remember, the real power of conditionals lies in their versatility. They allow you to express a wide range of ideas, from simple facts and predictions to hypothetical scenarios and regrets about the past. The more you practice, the more natural they will become. That brings us to the end of our deep dive into the world of conditionals. Remember, it's all about practice. Start incorporating conditionals into your daily English use and you'll soon see a significant improvement in your fluency and confidence. Hope this video has been helpful. Until next time, keep learning and happy studying.